Hey guys, today I'm bringing you to a special place right behind the famous, unfortunate uh, prison that we have in Tehran called Evin, where we have a converted uh, old uh, villa into a family-run, home-cooked uh, restaurant. You come down the stairs and you literally enter into an open space, uh, which in the past would have been their terrace. It's got unique, uh, old, traditional decor design. Um, and this restaurant specializes in home-cooked traditional Iranian food from various cities um, across uh, Iran. It's got a really nice, uh, warm look and feel, very cozy, um, not very complicated. You feel at ease, um, especially when the weather is really nice. It's a really pleasant and calming environment to dine and relax, whether to have uh, a cold or hot drink or to have a full-on uh, meal. I really like the attention to detail. The seating area was just uh, very simplistic, but at the same time comfortable. The menu was unique. They only had a few items for their appetizers. And in terms of the main courses, they had a number of dishes on here, uh, ranging from um, around four uh, US dollars all the way up to a maximum of 10 US dollars. This is a speciality salad, uh, which was made with uh, parsley sauce. This is the famous Masa Khiyar, which is yogurt with cucumber. This is Dug, our famous uh, yogurt drink. Um, and then we got uh, a number of uh, main courses with what we call kate uh, rice. Um, this is a gourmet sabzi, which most of you are familiar with. It's a famous Iranian stew made with mixed herbs and meat and lime. Absolutely amazing and delicious. This is a new dish, uh, which I've never had before. It's called lule kebab. It's from uh, an area of uh, Iran called Azerbaijan. Um, it's a traditional dish served with a tomato sauce and aubergine. This is what we call saj kebab. It's a baked dish uh, with uh, lamb uh, pieces with tomato uh, special sauce and peppers. Also amazing. First time I've had it, it's absolutely uh, delicious. Uh, the next dish that we got uh, was abalu polo, which is basically sour cherry stew made with chicken. And this is uh, what we call kebab digi, which is minced kebab on rice. And this is lula kebab as well as juja uh, kebab served in the same way. And then we ended the meal with halva ta tabrizi. It's like a, a dessert from Tabriz. Um, amazing, overall amazing experience, highly recommended.